Hello and welcome back to the chess series on Netflix, The Queen's Gambit. In this video I'm going to talk a bit about, a uh, bit more about the weaknesses of the of the series, crucially touching upon the gender gap in chess, both in the series and in uh, and in real life. So I will also connect it to the real chess world. And uh, well, at the end of the end of the video, I will also also show you one of the first games of of Beth, how she beat uh, Mr. Gantz, the chess teacher from from the high school, which is again taken from a, from a beautiful real life miniature. So let's get started with the series. So obviously chess on the chessboard is done uh, just, just magnificently well in the series. Credit goes to uh, Kasparov and uh, Bruce Pandolfini, a, a third class US chess coach. So uh, while well, mistakes that we kind of got used to over the time in, in movies and other series like swapping the king and queen in the starting position or moving pieces in a way they don't move, this is obviously not happening in this series. And also uh, Kasparov and Pandolfini chose very very nice games from, from chess history. Um, however, once we, we leave the chessboard and go for, uh, for dialogues about, uh, about chess, the quality kind of drops. So one of the, the leading examples is that uh, in the first episode, when the janitor teaches chess to, uh, to Elizabeth, then when they go to d4, the janitor says that uh, this is the queen's gambit. And well, this is not the queen's gambit, the queen's gambit is d4, d5, and then c4. And it's also quite pretty because they, they named the show after the queen's gambit and then they didn't uh, define it correctly. But a um, more major point I want to make here is that uh, so Kasparov and Pandolfini chose really beautiful games, but they are all always played by men chess players. There is not a single female game featured in the show. Which is really, really a pity. I mean, once uh, Bess is obviously a woman. And also it, uh, it misses the opportunity to further advertise chess among uh, female players. And uh, moreover, actually, there is no, <clears throat> or maybe one other female chess player in the whole series, uh, other than Beth, which has some cinematic uh, sort of support because they want to make the the surrounding surrounding as uh, as adverse to 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 be best as possible. However, I think they should have still uh, put some female players in the in the show. And and on this note, I also want to connect to a very recent study about the gender gender gap in chess. So people sometimes say that well, men just stronger in chess than 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 females are. Simply look at Magnus Carlsen. He is just so much stronger than the, the strongest female player, who is right now, I think, the highest rate is Hui Fan. There is like 200 rating points uh, in between them, so men are just stronger than, than, than the females. This is obviously super incorrect from a scientific point of view. You cannot look at the, the extremums of the, of the distributions. You really have to look at the, the averages of these, uh, of these players. So there is a very recent study by a professor at uh, the New York University who actually found that uh, they looked at Indian players and they found that uh, male and female players are actually more or less the uh, more or less have the same strengths. So um, yeah, so this is a very important point to make that uh, once you want to compare the two genders, you really have to look at the averages. You also have to take into account that uh, there are so many more male players than female ones. So you really have to correct for these these biases coming from the fact that simply men are just so many more playing this, so some of them are going to be stronger. Mm. Yeah, so that's that's basically what I wanted to say. I put a, I put a link in the description about this series, this, uh, sorry, not the series, the, the article. This, um, so there's an article on chess basic you can, uh, you can read, and uh, well, if you have your own opinion about this, um, just comment it in the, in the, in the video, or under the video. Um, I'm kind of curious what other people think about this, these problems. So uh, once we, we did this, so we can go actually for the, for the game. So let's do some, some chess. So this is essentially the first game that, uh, that is shown in the, in the series, the first full game of, of Elizabeth. And she started with e4, so the opponent is, uh, is Mr. Gantz. C6, D4, D5, so the Karakan. At some point in the series they say that the Karakan is just a bad opening, you're just pushing pawns, you're going to lose or something like this. Um, it's true in this game, but obviously not in general. So comes knight C3, takes, takes knight F6, and uh, 
Here as well plays the most queen d3. Actually, of course, the main move here is just take on f6. So queen d3, and black plays the move e5. Comes d takes d5 and queen a5 check. And at this point in the in the series, in the episode, Elizabeth just uh, stands up from the board, starts looking out of the window and just uh, saying moves. And actually all she, has it, all, all she says is uh, bishop blocks the check, so bishop d2, queen a5. Now she says that castles, black says uh, knight takes e4. So this is actually a, a puzzle at this point and there is meat in tree as, uh, as uh, Elizabeth announces. So here if you want you can stop the video and try to find the mate in tree. Otherwise I'll go on. So uh, Bass says that uh, queen d8 check is the move, king takes, and here she says uh, bishop check, which is actually uh, somewhat uh, sort of ambiguous because you can give bishop a5 check and you can also give bishop g5 check. And uh, obviously bishop a5 check is not checkmate because you just move your king and uh, black is simply up a queen. However, bishop g5 is the check that leads to checkmate, because if you play king e8, then rook d8 is, and, and if you play king c8, this is how the game ended, then bishop check ends the game. So again, this is an example from a real life game. This is taken uh, from a game by uh, Reti, and uh, start a cover from 19, uh, I think 1910, and they must have played in Vienna. Because, yeah, Reti was born in Austria. Yeah, so um, this is again a beautiful example. But as I, as I talked about in this video, um, this is played by, by two male players and this is the way the whole show goes. So um, let me know what you think about this. And let me also know whether you want to see more games from the, from the Queen's Gambit show. Well, otherwise there is not much happening in the chess world right now. So it's a bit hard to to show you um, more recent games. So see you in the next video, whatever the topic will be.